celebrations in Havana. These Cubans have just been given visas to visit the United States. That used to mean one trip only. Now they're getting multi-entry visas, valid for five years. This woman said the good news gave her goosebumps. They've given me a visa for five years. This is excellent. I can see my children whenever I want and my grandchildren and the rest. Like her, many Cubans have relatives in the United States, a mix of political exiles and economic migrants from this communist-run island. This visa change should help families stay in touch. Crucially, it makes travel cheaper. On top of the fare, every American visa costs $160. That's eight months state salary here. The move comes after Cuba scrapped the need for exit permits, giving residents freedom to travel abroad. The government's hope is they'll find it easier to go and then come back here. Because last year, the number of permanent emigres from Cuba was at its highest since the economic crisis of the 1990s. The new freedom to travel led to a surge in visa applications for America. But to succeed, Cubans still need to show they have ties here and will return. And that isn't easy. Still, any improvement in the visa process is welcome here. This woman says people are bursting with excitement at the new five-year visas. Five, she says, is her new lucky number. Sarah Rainsford, BBC News, Havana.